Hi everyone, so this is the second one of my community videos for people who want to know more, who just want to hang around. And in the community videos, I will talk a bit about myself, what's going on in the community, and also what's going on in the larger rational self-help sphere. But let's jump into it. I am right now on an island in Italy. The main reason we are here is because my girlfriend has been invited to a conference and so she is going to talks. And meanwhile I'm here using my environment to create videos. So what's going on in the community? Since last week we have one new patron, of which I'm happy about. We've had a couple of comments. The comment of the week is by Paul Talk. At this point in my life I allow myself to drift along and do things only when the spirit moves me. And otherwise I refuse to fret about it like I used to. Have you ever heard of the concept of a scanner? There is this community called Scanner Tribe. And it's all about people who have a lot of ideas and have a hard time sticking to one thing. And the criticism we hear the most is why don't you focus? Our strength is this lateral thinking, which is also the source of our creativity. And the main message by this person is you should forget about all these people who tell you that you should focus on something. I have to say I disagree. Maybe the problem is mine. Maybe I would feel better if I were to embrace this no focus life where I just allow myself to dig into something as long as I feel interested into it and then just jump into the ne next thing. But there is, some th there is an experience I've made in the past a few times in my life that doesn't allow me to fully enjoy this idea. My experiences in the past where I have decided to stick to something even though I didn't feel like it and push it to completion. And this could be the video I just published two days ago. I didn't feel like it. I was afraid. It took me a couple of months this summer to finally find out my niche, which is the general context is rational self-improvement and then within that effectiveness. And within this effectiveness, focus is an important element. I think the way I deal with this kind of thing is to set a time limit. So I say, no, I will not commit to something forever. I will commit to something for a year or a month or a week. And after it's done, I will allow myself to go in a completely new direction if I feel like. I have seen how rewarding it is to push through the discomfort and get something done. And it helps me to know after I'm done with this, I have complete freedom. I can choose a new direction. This simplifies your life. Whenever you have doubts, whenever you have new ideas, you recognize them as being temptations. You know that those ideas, after a few days, would become old and there would be new ideas. This is something that I really learned this summer. News of the week. Jordan Peterson finally published all four conversations he had with Sam Harris. I believe these are the most important conversations of the year, culturally speaking, that the nexus between two communities, the Christian worldview and there is the more skeptic worldview. And I would say myself, I have one foot in both. And so it helps me to see these conversations. Another news item is Elon Musk was interviewed by Joe Rogan. That's another pretty important conversation. And it's amazing that all these important conversations are being had outside of the mainstream media. One of the most mind blowing parts for me was when he talked about what it is like to be him. There's a franticness to your creativity that comes out of this, this burning furnace. And for, in order for you to like calm that thing down, <laughs> you, throw, you may, might have to throw too much water on it. It's like a never-ending explosion. Like, what is it like? Like, try to explain it to a dumb person like me. 
What's going on? Never, in the head? End, never ending explosion. <laughs> it's just constant ideas, just bouncing around. Yes. Whew. Damn. Yeah. This idea of a never ending explosion reminds one of psychedelic experiences. One wonders is that something that is unique about a certain brain, or is it the potential that we can unlock? at least to a certain degree in all of our brains, we still don't know much about what the brain is capable of. Another thing I wanted to share is a blog post by Mark Manson. Mark Manson is, uh, I respect him very much. So in this article, which is called The One Rule for Life, he talks about Immanuel Kant, the philosopher. And the rule is, act that you use humanity, whether in your own person or in the person of any other, always at the same time as an end never merely as a means. There are so many ways that we kind of use humanity to obtain a goal. I guess it's a temptation that is always there and one has to keep in mind. If you have any feedback, just let me know. I really want to kind of create a conversation ar around self-help that is reasonable.